So here I have a pretty decent amount of iodine, and it was shipped in this um, this container, which um, it works fairly well at keeping the iodine vapors in, but not super well. So I usually keep it um, in the garage. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an iodine recrystallization, and that's because um, you can tell that it has a metallic luster in some of the beads here, which are obviously in a prilled form, but you can't really tell any of the crystalline structures. And so I'm going to uh, recrystallize them by um, heating this um, dish here very slowly, um, with about uh, 113 degrees probably will um, offer enough um, temperature to speed up the sublimation process which iodine naturally undergoes. Um, a lot of people think that iodine can't actually be present in a liquid and that's a common misconception because iodine actually does have the ability to be um, in a liquid form although it is more commonly seen in either its solid or gaseous state. So um, basically as is fairly simple this is fairly simple to understand the iodine is just going to be heated and redeposited on the bottom of here and so i'm going to set up a time lapse and show the recrystallization process After a while, it's getting pretty hard to see in the flask with the video, so I'm going to stop the time lapse and show the crystals after they've um, gone to their full extent. It's pretty interesting, um, the growth they've made so far. They started to cover the glass on the outside too, so the video quality really wasn't that great. Alright, and here's our recrystallized iodine. You can tell that it has a much different shape, and it's much more shiny, um, and expresses the metalloid properties of iodine much better than this ugly beaded form does. And so now I have a good sample for my element collection. Uh, I think iodine is a pretty interesting element. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.